Let me ask you something. Have you ever picked up an iPhone only to realize that you've been completely locked out? Forgot the passcode? Bought a secondhand phone locked to someone else's Apple ID? Or your device is disabled because of too many failed attempts? It's frustrating. That's exactly why I'm testing out Tenorshare for you key today. Bought recently, still has Apple ID logged in. You don't know the password and can't contact the owner of the account. Thus, you can't use your iPhone normally. What should you do? Don't worry. Today, this video will quickly remove the lock of the previous owner's Apple ID through a few simple methods and restore your normal use. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Method 1. Remove previous owner Apple ID in the phone settings. If you want to remove your Apple ID directly from your device, you can do that too, and it's very simple to follow the next steps to remove all the content and settings from your device. Go to Settings, tap on General, then tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. Now tap on Erase, All Content and Settings. All the content and settings of the iPhone will be erased, and now you have successfully removed Apple ID. You can now set up iPhone as new one. Method 2. Remove previous owner Apple ID using 4UK. When you don't know Apple ID password, want to remove it quickly, it is a good choice to try to use professional and effective unlocking software. We strongly recommend Tenorshare 4UK. This software can easily remove Apple ID from iPhone slash iPad without the need of password just in few clicks. You can also use it to remove passcode, touch ID, or face ID fix problems with a disabled iPhone, without iTunes or iCloud, quickly bypass the iPhone screen, and more. Download Tenorshare 4UK from the link in the description below the video on your computer or Mac, and then install it. Launch the program and choose the option Remove Apple ID. Connect your device to computer using USB cable and click on Start to Remove button. Download the latest firmware package for your iPhone. Once the firmware download is complete, please ensure that you have set the screen lock and the two-factor authentication is enabled on the device. After these, the Apple ID removal process will start. After removing the Apple ID, your phone will automatically restart. Now we have successfully removed Apple ID without password. It is important to note that this method will only work if your login Apple ID is set to password and two-step verification is enabled. Now you have known how to remove previous owner Apple ID with an ease. The best way to get rid of this issue is by using Tenorshare 4UK. This tool can make your work easy and fast. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next activation lock. Click on start. Alright, just make sure your phone is connected. You guys can see my phone is in restore mode. So how to get it to like DFU mode? All you guys have to do is just follow the on-screen instruction on the software itself by pulling down and pressing the uh, power button plus the volume down button and releasing the but power button while holding down the volume button. All right, and after that, while well, all right, once it is in DFU mode, all right, the software will automatically detect and start the jailbreaking process. At this time, you don't have to do anything. You might see the same the same thing on the screen itself on your phone. Don't worry about that. It's completely safe. All right, and it is on the right track. All right, so if you don't see this, that means there's something wrong. So if you see this, it's a good sign. All right, so once done, your phone should reboot as a Apple logo and the software will say jailbreak successfully. So you guys can just click on start removal and it will start to enter into recovery mode again. And after that, you guys have to follow the on-screen instruction. Just follow the same steps to get your phone into DFU mode. So once your phone is in DFU mode, it will start saying removing iCloud activation lock. At this process, you see this screen, you are pretty safe. Everything is working as per normal. All right, and after four to five minutes later, all right, it will say remove successfully. And your phone should reboot. It will say finish. And after that, it will ask you to create a passcode so that is no more iCloud activation lock already. So, you know, it's you can see, get started. And then after that, I'm in the phone itself. So this is how easy and straightforward the unlocking process is. And